One small step for a man. One giant step. Hold the jokes, team. We got a lot of work to do here. I don't remember what this game is. It's a base build or something. It's a game about pizza. Yep. To succeed, planning alone is insufficient. One must improvise as well. Isaac Eshamoff. Today's science fiction is tomorrow's science facts. Also from Isaac Asimov. Creativo presents a game by Viom Studio. A space elevator. I, I kind of want to get to the gameplay, though. Like, it's cool that you have a cool opener. Just you want this intro for every game? Every time, whenever you launch Counter-Strike, this plays. FTL, this plays. Okay, connection solid. This is start. Yeah, okay, fine. Look, come on. Cargo pod. Click on the notification located on the left side of the control interface and specify the designated landing spot for the capsule. Alice, your primary responsibility is to ensure resource extraction and processing at our logistic hub in the Sea of Tranquility. Mm. Okay. Currently our operation I, I don't really care a whole lot about the story here. This appears to be mostly a base building kind of a situation. It's kind of weird how they start us out with so much pre-built stuff. Place holograms of solar panels on the allocated sites. Our drones will take it from there. You'll see. Well, it, it closes out the, uh... Okay, if we hold shift, then we can click multiple things at once. Yeah, it's a tutorial, but I mean, I don't want the, the lowdown of the story. I just want to see what the gameplay is like. And, uh, and the, like, a lot of times, tutorial, you, you know, you start with nothing to learn the basics, but...
definitely don't think I'm going to be playing this one for super long. Just because it's, I mean, it seems fine, but it just seems like a base builder. I'm kind of waiting for... Yeah, the graphics kind of remind me of, like, Supreme Commander or something. The ability to, like, zoom out and, like, get in with, like... Wow, you can go really deep. Look at this detail. Kind of reminds me of Satisfactory with this layout. The fact that we have a limited amount of, like, grid con uh, connection. Connect modules by wires. These modules. That's an elevator. What are these? Hmm. It's weird that I can click on this elevator and it tells me what it is. And I can click on this and it shows me resources. I can click on this and it says solar panel. Anything that I've built, I can click on, but any of these things that are not built, I can't. Switch to the underground level. Ab. Okay, this is the thing that's cool about this is you go you go deep. Convert four drones into mining drones. Whoop, I deconstructed that too? Oh shit, whoops. Sorry about that. Hold on, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> All right, sorry, I gotta. Okay. Robert, to answer your question, our company has been providing repair and maintenance services for robotics and mining equipment for over 10 years. We were involved in the development and maintenance of technology for lunar mining along with the first industrial expeditions to the moon, even before the construction of the space elevator. That's and that's story okay, stuff. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Getting a stress signal everywhere. Not a malfunction. We have to check. Oh. oh my god! Oh, oh my crust! Oh my pizza! I didn't do- that was somebody else's fault. That's not my fault. Oh, 
Did the game crash? Dang, that game might have crashed. Oh, no, it's just loading. The Strugatsky brothers also wrote some neat books. Okay. Robert, come in, Robert. Do you read me? We with Based on the spread of the blast wave, it appears that the explosion took place on the far side of the moon. Fortunately, like these characters seem pretty inspired by TF2 characters. Or at least the, this looks kind of reminds me of the doctor from uh, TF2 and the engineer guy looked like that guy as well. far away and we don't know the cause that's because scientists rely on established facts rather than speculating based on unreliable data they prefer to work with what is known rather than jumping to hasty conclusions i've heard that first vice president alice vance maintains her composure and professionalism in all circumstances perhaps it's time for you to call your alter ego maybe i should professor Tell me, prior to the moon launch, we were actively involved in a range of technologies aimed at advancing autonomous mining. Could you provide an update on the status of this project? We had a plan for an autonomous extraction plant, but it's currently just a project. Given the circumstances, implementation seems Objective unlikely. Key. Now we need to fix the elevator to regain access to the underground level. Select it and order the drones to start repairing it. You can change the game speed. Select the required speed using the interface or hotkeys 1, 2, 3. This can speed up the process while building modules. Or you can use okay. the pause to plan your future base. Yeah, yeah. Repair that, please. Thank you. Director, Crust have made an official statement. I will put it on the screen. Crust made an official statement. Day, an unexpected asteroid impact occurred on the surface of the... Oh, it's an asteroid. We are currently working tirelessly to re-establish contact with Objective motor achieved. outposts and assess the situation. The number of casualties, if any, is being verified. As a result of the impact, four of the five lunar orbital stations are non-operational. This has caused disruptions in navigation and logistics systems. Be advised that all lunar-based activities and communications may experience delays or interruptions until further notice. We want to emphasize that Earth is not in any danger as a result of this event. We will continue working around the clock to address this unprecedented event and ensure the safety of all those affected. Do not spread unverified information as it may lead to unnecessary panic. I mean, they're saying some stuff about the blast and... Well, we're on Mars, right? Oh no, maybe we're, I guess, no, no, we're on the moon, never mind. I was thinking of that Just Mars game or whatever. Or Mars Tactics. Okay. Okay. Asteroids can't melt lunar crust, people. Sheeple, sorry. Uh, now we need to build a charging station, connect the module. Yeah, we did that. So it turned out to be an asteroid after all. Yep. Professor, is that even a possibility? Collision of an asteroid with the moon. What do you mean if it's a possibility? It happened. However, the possibility of not detecting an asteroid of that size and predicted trajectory and time raises another question. Anyway, we've received your request for research projects. Let's finish the current tasks first, and then we'll address it. While lunar outposts showcase humanity's technological advancement, their longevity is limited without the presence of essential resources like steel and concrete. Now we do have electricity, but we need both steel and concrete to keep the modules running. Start by researching and building the pressing module, which enables the production regolith of concrete. Regolith pressing. Regolith. Unlocks the production of concrete from the regolith. Method, not the resource sufficient, but it gets the job done. Optimization. A 
Additionally, okay. allocate a What do we like eventually get into? To ensure a steady supply of raw materials for the pressing module. Now, Professor Wilson opens access to a programmable version of the regular spitter. Okay, so it does seem to have like Let's begin with the fundamentals, uh, director. Each unit of regolith contains its own percentage of valuable resources, and at the moment, you're primarily mining barren rock. Like the kind of resource management kind of similar to satisfactory, maybe. Detector. Open the research panel. Select geological exploration, and we can proceed with our work. Once this research is completed, you'll gain the ability to construct the ore detector. We had prepared Landing platform, plan robot mining speed, increased mining speed. So fundamental now. stuff, kind of, kind of needs. Uh, social stuff as well, kind of interesting. Thermal treatment of con concentrated ice to produce water. License for access to the tender system. Work in progress. Opens up the ability to accept more contracts at the same time. Living rooms. Okay. Yeah, this actually looks kind of cool. I like the the whole reason that we were trying this was that it was like we had some or like you get to do this underground building stuff, which seems pretty cool. Research complete. Pressing module. Isn't shouldn't that be under production? Is that not what it's under? No. It is. Does that have to be underground? Okay. Underground thing. Presumably it's going to be need to need to be connected. I'm not a big fan of like the the limitation. I wouldn't wait too long if I were you. And add a bulk resource storage to it so your drones have a place to the like the limitation of electrical connections. I think that's kind of just like an annoying thing. I don't I don't love that in a satisfactory either. It is not designed to withstand lunar dust and solar radiation. Like, I don't mind the fact that you have to, like, make electrical connections, but, like, having a finite amount of connections to, like, especially, like, main hub stuff is, like, meh. You can't build here. We should have microwave transfer power by now. Yeah. Unlock the geological prospecting to build the ore detector. Yeah, we did. Uh, I'm working on building it. Don't forget to wire it up. The ore detector uses battery power to every scan. The bigger the scanning area, the more power it requires. Select the ore detector and scan the regolith around it. You need to find the nearest iron vein and then excavate the regolith from it. With yeah, this is pretty cool. Well, we can go wider or farther. Power. And the larger the scan area, the more power is consumed. Remember this and try not to leave your base without power. Objective achieved. Iron. Now, we require a smelting furnace which employs the reduction method to convert the oxide into usable resources. Although That's cool. we haven't tested this technology yet, theoretically it should work as intended. Theoretically? Professor, are you sure that it's worth taking the risk at this moment? Absolutely Our not. Our is now one big risk. It can't be eliminated even if we do absolutely nothing. So yes, I'm quite certain about that. Okay, let's get our power situation unfucked. Can't 
these auto connect when we've actually like build them directly next to each other? No, they absolutely do not. batteries I guess I don't know if I'm supposed to actually have gaps between things I have no clue you can set your drones to priority zone for extraction with a special tool mining drones will start digging in the red zone now first the recipe hmm. for producing steel in the smelting furnace Choose a recipe for steel production. Objective the achieved. smelting furnace always requires oxides to begin production of any resource, and mining drones are able to extract oxides directly from the vein. Not enough power to run the module. Way, but we have to start right now. Order them to excavate the regolith on top, and then assign them to extract iron oxide from the vein. Enter excavation mode to be able to assign mining drone to mine the vein. Then set the number of drones that will mine oxide from the vein. All right, that's kind of cool. We're not even on the crust anymore. We're on the crust and we're below the crust. Now you have steel and smart concrete production, but it is extremely inefficient. To secure a foothold, we need to build a fully capable production chain. You do have a plan, don't you, Professor? And while they're digging, we need to research underground mining and build the extractor. Select the necessary research, and we will start working on it immediately. Build an extractor or an iron vein. Or on an iron vein. Rather. And derp. Oh, hey, I, I gotta... I didn't mean to bug report. I haven't had any bugs. Nope, that's not what I meant. Um, where's my research? Nope. Where's my research tab? There it is behind me uh... oh I have an underground extractor Never mind. Well, it's not under production. It's going to be under mining. Derp. Hang on. Get some of the space here. I thought I had to. I had to overlap it. Extractors are capable of extracting resource-rich region uh, regolith from deposits, but this isn't. Uh,
build here. You can't build here. I am a little confused. It's like this is it says cells overlapped zero of nine red, but like so this is overlapping nine of nine. You can't build here. Director, unauthorized signal on line one. I think you might want to hear this. I'm putting it on the main screen. Maybe it's due to the vehicles in the way? Yeah. Ratchet, did you hear the news? Crust put you in charge of the new toy. Try not to wreck it. We won't be getting a second one. Not only have we almost lost all our equipment and communication, now we also have Crust to deal with. By the way, Wilfrey, it seems they haven't forgotten about you. Okay, either. here, let me... Okay, I got... Yeah, 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 that's probably what it is. So I need to... And we will proceed. Cancel... Let me... I was able to select this before. Okay, here we go. Yeah, let's stop, stop mining that. And then we do this. You can't build here. You can't build here. Okay, there we go. I got it. <laughs> I was rotating the building, but. Then we need a, to do a rover thing. Landing platform. Need to research that. Saw that over here. Good. Not enough resources for repair? We don't have enough resources for this. Okay. Well, I, I think I probably got the uh, gist of it here. This seems pretty decent. Um, I, think, I think I probably got the idea here. Okay, so do 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 base building colony sim the I would say the most unique part about this is you build both on the surface and deep underground while you do your mining. Um, pretty graphics. Um, I don't, I don't know that I would really be super interested in playing this again. Cause it's just like kind of, it's, it seems kind of like a kind of chill colony sim game more so than like, a difficult kind of like rim world kind of you know something along those lines so Ooh. sorry as cooking sim 2 wasn't already on the list not only was it on the list it's right on screen right this very moment Um, 
Base building colony sim. Welcome to B1. Snake cards and build on the surface and deep underground. Pretty graphics. Um, neat uh, research trees. Not bad. I got some red on you. Yep. I do indeed. What's up, Finn? Thanks for the 16 months. I really appreciate it. Don't leave any love lying around. Make sure you pick it up and take it with you. Um, I, I think that's like above average as far as a colony sim game goes. Uh, I probably won't play it again on the stream, but I would recommend it in general. I think it seems fine. If you're into uh, colony sim. Resource management stuff um this is this is uh, okay i'm not i'm not gonna worry about minute uh, change changing any of these other ones right now okay duelists of e 